everyone, welcome to today's video. Uh, we're going to go on from last week when we looked at some uh, harmonic scales that are common in shredding, and we'll go on with this and play some arpeggios mixed with tapping today. It's pretty cool, and of course, as always, you know, shredding can become too technical and not as musical as some other styles of music, but it's a great way of playing, of improving your technique and your speed. So, you know, let's go through some exercises and uh, some techniques that maybe are a bit out of your regular uh, practice routine. So it's pretty interesting. Today we'll mix uh, arpeggios and tapping in a way that is uh, very simple and very straightforward and you can be as creative as you want. We'll try to keep this video, uh, you know, on, on at a level that all users can can kind of get something out of it. So if you're a beginner, you stick around and you know, you'll learn something new. The, the idea here is that we play very basic arpeggios. I'm going to give you three uh, twist string arpeggios for major and minor. We start in A main, E minor, with uh, this arpeggio. Okay, this is a minor form, and then we'll move to F major to G major, and then back to A. Okay, so we have these four measures, and uh, each one has a chord. Now the idea here is that we're going to use one more note and we'll use it with uh, we'll tap it with the right with the right hand I use the middle finger use whatever work for, works for you uh, maybe the third one and uh, the root of the of the chord we'll play on the first string so it will be 17th fret for A 13th fret for F and 15th fret for G and it will look something like this I play the chord and then I go look for that root on the first string. Now, since we're adding one note, I will change the pattern a little bit. It won't be as simple as... We'll repeat it a little bit more, and it sounds like this. And then we'll be able to switch to another one. That way we'll, we'll square the, the, the tempo, you know, otherwise it will be all out. So we go to F, and we play the root, on the 13th fret of the first string and then we use G and then back to A okay so let me sh show it to you from close up we'll do um, a slow version where I will only repeat the pattern once per each chord and then we play the faster version where I will actually play twice each of the chords, okay, that way it won't be as short and you'll be able to, you know, get a close look and see how it's done. All right, here it goes. so you see how it sounds and uh, you see that it's not as easy as it looks I mean it sounds easy because we're only adding one note but the whole coordination thing is a bit more complex so do that and try to speed up you know slowly and gradually start very slow and then go all the way up I know musically this is not as inspiring as some other things we've done but technically it's a really useful exercise it will keep you in control of both hands and your head you know will have to follow them and lead them at the same time and it's great you know to be able to do that no matter what kind of music you play. Next week we'll do something maybe with pedal notes and then maybe finish, at least for now, this series on shredding and move on to something else. Alright, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.